Kieran here with Press B Gaming. Today's video will be about Dragon Ball Xenoverse. There has been some confusion if the height and weight options affect the stats of your character, so today I'm going to show you that they actually do. For testing purposes, I used the Frieza race. They have a low base attack, however, their movement speed is the fastest out of all the created characters. Out of the height options, I picked short and tall, and for both of these, I used a balanced weight. As for the third character, I picked tall and buff. As you see, these characters are specified by their names. As you can see, there's a slight difference already on the stat wheel between the three. The short character leans more towards blasts, while the tall and the buff character leans more towards attack and strike. We'll start with the short character. To test these values, we're going to have to fight an easy opponent and use the scouter to check their health values. Hercule is probably the best test dummy to use since he can't really vanish any of your attacks. <laughs> As we start off, we see his health is at 317 at level 1. One light attack does about 1 damage to his health, and as a just in case, I attacked him again to see if it made a difference. And surprisingly enough, my second light hit knocked his health down by 2 points. Also, at points during the video, you might see his health jump on this scouter. That's because I had to make some rough cuts for time in the footage. Now, while his health is at 312, I did a 5-8 light combo and it reduced it by 18 points. I also tried again for fun and it actually reduced it by 17 points. So it seems to change between each 5-8 combo you do. Next, let's move on to the tall character. At level 1, he's slightly stronger than the short character, but surprisingly, he's a bit weaker than the tall buff character. Once again, I'll hit him with a light punch, and again, it's 2 damage, just like the short character. However, once I do a 5-hit combo, I take him down by 22 points instead of 18, which gives him 4 more strength than the short character. Finally, we'll move on to the tall and buff character. Now this character actually surprised me since weight was only supposed to affect strike and blast, not attack too. With one hit, he gets taken down by 3 points instead of 2, and the 5 hit combo takes him down by 26 points, which is another 4 point increase. After about an hour or so of grinding, I was able to get all of them up to level 36, and I haven't put any stat points into them, and we can tell the wheel has changed drastically than it has before. The tall medium character actually seemed a bit balanced rather than favoring blast like his short medium counterpart, or attack and strike like his tall and buff counterpart. As a quick for fun, I tested all of their movement speeds, and the tall medium character and the tall buff character have the exact same dash speed and general floating speed, so we see weight doesn't really affect speed, However, height does. It took about 4 seconds or so for the tall medium and the tall buff character to dash from this spot to the lookout entrance, while it took the short character about 3 or so seconds. And just take a look at the short character's floating speed. It was really hard trying to get him in this one specific spot without having him overshoot it. This shows a really big significant speed increase compared to the tall characters. And I know I didn't test this with the other characters, but even take a look at his step speed. It's really fast. Now we're back to testing damage. Hercule is now at level 36 as he scales with our characters. His starting health at this stage is always 1214. A single light hit with the short medium character does about 6 damage, which is a decent increase from his level 1 self. The real results come in during the 5 hit combo as they take his health down by 67 points. Next, I'll also test Strike and Blast damage. Strike damage will always seem more since I'm using Meteor Crash. However, he has the weakest strike out of the three builds here. Meteor Crash takes his health down by 49 points, while Death Slicer takes his health down by 35 points.
The tall medium character now does 8 points of damage per single light hit, which is about 2 points stronger than the short character. His 5 hit combo does 84 points, which is a definite big increase over the short character's 5 hit combo. Meteor Crash does 61 damage, while his Death Slicer does 23 damage. The 61 is a pretty significant increase over the short's 49 damage, and the 23 damage is a pretty significant decrease over the short's 35 damage, so his strikes are definitely stronger and blasts are definitely weaker. Finally, we'll finish this off with the tall buff character. The tall buff character has a great increase compared to the tall medium character. So if strike and attack damage is your thing, definitely go with this guy. His single hit does 10 damage, his 5 hit does 101 damage, and his strike does 93 damage. And the funny thing is that his blast doesn't even decrease and it remains at the 23 points of damage that the tall medium character did. As a note, I reset the battle real quick because of time, so you'll see his health jump up from the previous cut. To top things off, I shoved 100 stat points into attack for the tall buff character. To be short and sweet, the single hit and his 5 hit doubled. So his single hit does 20 damage, and his 5 hit does 202 damage. Having 100 out of 100 points into attack is great since it doubles your attack power. Just imagine how much damage this guy will do at level 80. Results may vary per numbers per race, but the height and weight options will definitely and significantly change. Tall and buff characters will be the best attackers, and short thin characters will be the best blasters. Thanks for watching. See you around.